we already know what a variable is. For example, we have a variable a and we assign it a value of four. And if we then run this and look at a, we will get the number four. Now, in fact, there are two different types of variables and um, we can't distinguish them by just looking at them. And um, one is a local and the other is a global variable. And I will now start with the global variable and then go to the local variable and by this it will become clear what it is. So for example, we have a variable and we call it test. And we have this test variable within a loop. So we have a loop and this is a for loop for test in and then a simple list of one, two, three, four, five. For example, colon, we get an indent here and um, we print the result test and add also three to the result and then we run it and then test will be um, assigned in the first loop one in the second loop test will assign two then three and so on and in each loop it will be added a three and we get the according list so that's all fine now this test variable here because we can or if i now we um, go back to the indent and if I print out the test variable I get the number 5 because test is assigned 1, then 2, then 3, then 4, then 5 so the last assignment to test is 5 and I can also print out this 5 and I will get this here as um, well the value 5 all good and if I would have test defined here as say 14 and I run it test will still be 5 here so test will be because it's assigned 1 2 3 4 5 so it's overwritten so although I have defined here as 14 it will be overwritten within this loop and then the last value assigned will be this 5 and this is what I get here and this is what we call a global variable um, should be global variable so now it's right this is a global variable it's true everywhere and if I use it again it will be overwritten now maybe this is still a little bit unclear but it will be come clear now if you look at local variables so let's have a look how these work and for this time we're going back to this definition command. So I make again a definition and again make this um, add one and I have a number here, colon, I get in the new line and the result shall be the number plus one and then we return the result here. So I run this definition and nothing will happen and then I use this definition in the next cell. So I use add one and put in five run it and the result is of course six now within this definition there's this variable res for result now i do the same thing as before i define oops that's wrong here i define or assi assign a value to res again or in this case maybe let's say six then i run it then I use at five or maybe let, let's take a different number just because it's more clear they're not that similar. Let's put 20. I run it, run it again. Now I get six as a result. And I also print out now the result variable, the value of the result variable. And if I do this, it will be 20. So it's not six. Yeah, if I print this, so I have both print I will see the result from this calculation is so it's different so although result in here is 6 it does not override the value in res that I assign up here and this is because res in here is a local variable res is a local variable and this means that 
res is only used within this definition. So although it has the same name, it's handled internally. It's, it's assigned a specific number within this. It's handled internally differently. So it does not override what is up here. So this is quite important. Um, because here I overwrite with this for loop, I overwrite this global value. In here, I do not. It is possible, if for whatever reason it's important, to also make this a global variable. So I could write here global res. By this I def define that res in here is a global variable. So if I run this again, run this again, and now I'm overwriting res here and this res variable I have up here and I assign 20 because it's local it will be overwritten with 6 and then the result is 6 and this global now global res variable is also 6. So this is quite an important distinction between these local and global variables and you need to know where it's a local variable and where it's a global variable. So within definitions for example it's always a local variable unless you define it differently and for example within a for loop it's always a global variable. This will um, when you use it after some while this will become quite familiar and also you will know when it's global and when it's local. So this is um, making this correct as well. Variable and then that's it about global and local variables.